we are here to be able to work chest. And what's good about this is the fact that he's gonna be getting on a plane here in less than 24 hours to go out there and represent the title and Evagen as well, obviously, of himself out there in Europe. So it's really cool. Now we're looking forward to just being able to get this really good chest workout in, be able to get really super 3D mind muscle connection because this is a, one of those body parts we really want to work on getting ready for the Olympia this year. So let's do this. <laughs> One, good. Two, good. Three, control. Not too fast. Ten. That's the end of the warm up sets. Those were the last warm up. Now we're gonna start doing some real working sets. Let's throw some weight on there and now time to work. We're gonna work on really trying to get his strength up right now because we wanna eventually get to that three, four or five plates right when he starts getting really strong. So this is where you start seeing that really visible increase in strength and density because as we get stronger, you can get much more dense. Come on. One, two, three, four, good, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. Ooh. Supinate the wrists. Good. Good. Tighten that up. Yeah, okay, work a little more in here. We'll do that today. And don't forget to do pullovers to open those lats out more because that'll help force the stretch too. Whether it's dumbbell pullovers or machine pullovers, make sure you're doing them because it's going to open you up this way. And then if you open up, you're going to get a lot more depth in your chest to your rib cage to your back. That's going to open up much more by doing that stretch. Come on, Derek. Make it work, bro. Make it work. Make it work. You got this. You got this. You got this. One. Okay. There we go. Two. Good. Keep going, keep going. Good. Okay, up, 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 up. Slow, slow, slow. One more like that. Up, slow, slow, slow. Last one, last one. Negative. Just work on the negative. Slow, slow. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay, drop it all the way down. Take two off. Come on, Trevor. Control. Good. Good. Keep your chest up so you stretch. Good. Keep your chest up so you stretch. And contract. Good. Push that chest together. Push all the way. There you go. You see how you get more? There you go. You're getting more contraction in that chest. Good. Good. Stretch and squeeze. Much better. Two more like that. Come on, Derek. Two more like that. One more. One more. Stretch and squeeze all the way, all the way. Hold it there. Hold it. All the way up. One more. One more. Up, up, slow. Slow, slow. One more, one more, one more. Okay, you gotta work on the negative. This is it. You're not doing any more positives. You need five seconds on the round. Four, three, two. Good job. Good. Now squeeze your chest. Come on. Good. Good. Hands down. Let me see your most muscular that way. Good. 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 Squeeze. Now go into the most muscular crab. Chest up. Arch your back. That's better. Good. And the off season has just begun. Oh, good, good. Come on. Good job, Derek. Good job, bud. Arch your back and drive. Good. Good. Stretch. Good. Shoulders okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. Three more, three more. One. Two. One more, one more. And I want you to hold it for five seconds. Five, four, three, two. Good job. This feels pretty good, actually. Good. 
As long as your pressure, not, there's no pressure in your, in your... It's weird, like, in most, like, like leg day or back day, the one, like, machines that most people like, yeah, they're, like, more superior than another. For me, on chest day, for some reason, these weird machines work better. I don't... I think it's just pressure off your shoulder. Yeah, it I is. think yeah, because those those fundamentals that everybody else sticks to to gain mass, mm -hmm. you tend to have issues with because yeah. of your shoulder. So you're just gonna have to work around it. Squeeze with the pecs. Good. One, two. Squeeze. Three. Four. Five. Good. Six. Not too fast. Not too fast. Six. Not too fast. Not too fast. Slow down a little bit. Slow down a little bit, slow down, slow down. There you go. Slow a little bit on the negative. Control, slow. Slow. Two more. Slow. One more, one more. Come on, Derek. Okay, hold it. Hold it there, hold it there, hold it there. Slow, slow, one more just like that. Oh, come on, together, together. Come on, Derek. Good, now slow, <sighs> slow stretch, slow stretch, slow stretch. Good job, that's it. Good. What we're doing right now is really working on making sure that that negative, the eccentric motion, the way back, he's going slower so he can control more time under tension on the eccentric motion, going a little faster on the concentric as he contracts. And um, again, we talk about Derek has got different things that he feels and doesn't feel. We haven't been able to get a really good contraction for pretty much years, right? For I, is it always better been, and better? On, no, I'm talking about on the flies, uh, dumbbell. Oh, dumbbell yeah. flies. I just feel like it doesn't. Really... I like constant tension a little bit better versus like from the cables and machines versus the free weights myself. Sure, but that's you've always been like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. So he's always had a better mind muscle connection on using something that's got continuous tension, like he said, cables and machines, versus doing some of the basics. Some people get really good results out of the basics. Some people just don't get that good mind muscle connection. Um, but we are still gonna use some things, especially because we're gonna hit a little bit of try here too. So we're gonna go over to a, uh, a flat close grip bench. We're gonna try to do that, see how you do. Um, again, nothing too crazy heavy, but just try to change up the ranges of motion so that you can be able to create more muscle growth because we're using a different version of a exercise that could create muscle confusion. Bring control. Good. Good. Good, now I want you to pause on this one. Two second pause. 1,001, 1,002, okay, good. Again, good. Again, a little more, a little more, a little more, a little right there, now hold that. Good. Go again, Derek. Good, now give me partials, go, go, go. Just touch my hands, there you go. Just touch my hands, good. Touch my hands, good. Come on, good, one more. Good job. <sighs> Good, how's the pump? Yeah, I really feeling it, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, you? <laughs> there you go. Give me six. One. Two. Three. Push. Five. Six, two more. One more. Okay, so what we're doing now Good. is we're resting right. for a couple of minutes in between sets. Again, these are FSC seven sets for 30 to 45 seconds. When we're doing straight sets, we're doing anything from about a minute, um, if we're just warming up, all the way up to two minutes on the heavier sets, maybe even a little bit longer for the bigger body parts. So you have plenty of time to get the energy back and then be able to do heavier weights and go to failure instead of fatigue. Good. <clears throat> Two, three, <clears throat> keep going. <clears throat> Five. And push, 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 push. Lock it now. Good, good. One more set with that. It's hard to season because yeah. it's all still new growth, you know? And your back has been so developed for so long that it's a whole different scenario. And so a lot of that's old muscle. But this is all this stuff is so new that it's just taking longer to develop in terms of the seasoning because it just keeps growing. Because your chest is way bigger than, it, bigger than it was. I was gonna ask you what you thought in terms of the development of my chest, but to be honest with you, I know it's growing. Like I, I feel it. 
You know, it feels fuller. I think it looks flatter. I think it looks like zero. <laughs> <laughs> and no, I, I can, really. I, certain exercises I can really connect with well now. Right. You know, whereas before it was like, I was like all over the board with, with any exercise. Now I'm really getting a better mind muscle connection. And I feel like I'm stacking the, the chest days together to where I'm, I'm building on top of each other. And, yeah. But I agree with you. I think it's, there's a lot of fullness that's developing. Uh, whereas like seasoning just comes with time. It comes with time. It's just gonna get more density. Also increasing your weight and the load has a lot to do with it. Uh, so that once you start to get stronger and you start training a little bit heavier, then you get a little bit more yeah. of that density as well. So once that helps in the seasoning process. It's gonna feel lighter than the last set. Come on. <laughs> yeah. And up. Good, go. <laughs> Go. Good. Get your rhythm. Get your rhythm. That's it. Get your rhythm. Now you got it. That's it. Now push it. Keep going. Drive it up. Come on, dude. Now with me. Go. Go. Now with me. Up. Come on. All the way. Lock it out. Perfect. Good. A twisting shot just so I can see what your X frame looks like from the side. Keep that X frame going. So important. Good. 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 Come on, Derek. Good. Buddy. Perfect. See the leg, hold it. Good. Bring your knee in a little bit. That's better. Like that. Good. Good. Squeeze that in. Good. Good. Your cardio is good, dude. You're not breathing too hard. Yeah. Yeah. But your cardio is definitely better. It's better than a lot of previous years. Yeah. Yeah. Because normally you'd be like starting to like sound like Darth Vader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's way better. I think it's from the cardio. It's from the eating. It's not being too heavy. You know, you're not you're not heavy in the gut, so you're not breathing through your upper diaphragm or like, <gasps> sleeping well too. I would yeah. say. Yeah, yeah. Sleeping is much, much, much is much better. Maybe yeah. you can see the improvement. Good. Do a front lat. Set those shoulders wider, like that. Good. Because even your chest is firing really well on this too. I don't know if you can if you notice it or not, because I can see it is. Yeah. But it's also getting your triceps, which are something that you could really improve on too. Mm -hmm. Let's go. You got this. Good and up. Good. Go. 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 Just pick it up a little bit. Good. Go. Good. Three. Four, go. Good. Good. Bring those elbows back. Get those shoulders back. Stretch and drive. Good. 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 Good job. Okay. So, get up real quick. So, this is what's going on you're gonna get more separation in your chest if you can separate your delt from your chest. Mm -hmm. Right now, what's happening is you're going like this, mm -hmm. like this, instead of, so I think it's just because you're so bound up in here, okay. so that your chest and your shoulders, that's, they're, not, they're not really impacting mm -hmm. your, de your, 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 de your pecs enough. So you gotta bring your shoulders back uh -huh. and squeeze. Okay, and the way you do that is start with light movements like now and being able to work that range of motion so it separates your delt from your pec and then back up again. And as you do that, you're gonna get better contractions in your pec and you're gonna get even more separation through your pec because what's happening is you're just going like this. So the pressure's all across the chest instead of it being specifically on the pec or even on, and then stretching back here on the tricep and driving it out. And that's why you're also not getting as much in here mm -hmm. because it's all bound up in here. Like exactly, exactly. So what happens is all building in here yeah. instead of here and here. Okay. So just remember, the more you can get back and stretch here, yeah. this will contract better and this is gonna contract better. And then boom. Good. Come on, Derek. You got this. Good. Good. Two, good, good. Three.
Keep going. Good. Keep going. Good. 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 Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good. Squeeze, squeeze. Two more. Good. One more. Good. Hold it. Hold it. Go. Good. It's all about just range of motion and squeeze. Good. Good. Stretch, 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 stretch it. And drive. Good. Stretch, 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 stretch. And drive. Good. Good. And squeeze. Good. Good. Stretch, 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 stretch. Good. Keep going, keep going, Derek. Keep going, Derek. Good. Good. Stretch. Good. St stretch, 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 stretch. And good. St good stretch, good stretch, good stretch, good stretch. Good, one more. Stretch, 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 stretch. Good job. There you go. Good, get up and then just stretch out a bit. Put your arm up against the bar and then just try to stretch out your pec a bit and just really try to open it up because you're so bound up. Good, so right now it's all about stretching out his pecs a bit because he gets so tight. And again, not into major, major crazy stretching, but when we do fascia stretch training, it's really from the inside out with blood flow that articulates that fullness and just really be able to get that muscle to that three-dimensional look that you're looking for. It's always through that, but throwing in a little bit of stretching, especially when you're so bound up and he's so muscle bound, he's got so much new muscle on him to be able to really get that full range of motion. Just throwing in some stretching at the end, at the end, afterwards really helps quite a bit. Guys, day two is now in the books. Derek Lunsford, 2023 Mr. Olympia, AKA champ champ, not to be confused with me, chump chump sometimes, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I felt in the workout in the gym yesterday. Um, but you know, it was great getting together yeah. again. It was awesome. Just wanted to make sure that all of you guys who are following around the journey with Derek, 2024, um, go check out his page, check out his YouTube. He's putting out a shit ton of content. And um, what did you think of the workout? It was good, man. It was really nice to have you here. It was the first time at MI40 and this gym yes. here too. So it's nice, like, because I, I get to come out to, to Dallas and yeah. train at Evo Gym headquarters, which yeah. amazing gym, right. obviously. But this is like, these are the gyms that I regularly train at. Right. So be able to come here and kind of assess what I have readily available to me. And so you, you're giving me kind of like a good blueprint of what to do in the following weeks to come, you know? So. It's good, man. It's, it was nice to have you here in, yeah. in my hometown, and so. And see baby Evie. I know. Yes, yeah, and good. we did not pay her, you know, <laughs> when I say her, Jelson, yeah. to, to be able to change yeah. the name because baby yeah. yeah, but if you had a boy, if it was called baby Evo, then maybe a little bit. <laughs> but no, no, um, no, no, but no, yeah, no. she's the cutest baby on the planet. We had Persian last night too, what'd you yes. think, man? It was yes, good. the Persian place was amazing. Yeah. And um, it was good. It was good being out here. And the good thing is it's not too hot right now. That so. was my Persian yeah. place. Yes, See? that was his Persian place. <laughs> super, super nice older family that yeah. owns it. Family run business, awesome. Yeah. But I want to be able to say, you know, what, what was good is being able to say and see what we had to work with. Mm. Because again, got a little spoiled recently with the Evogen headquarters and yeah. having all the awesome equipment and everything else. And we don't have that in 99%. Most of you guys also don't have that. So you gotta make what's best, you know, with what you have. And I think that we were able to do that, you know? It's never perfect, but it is something that we need to work around. And I feel that right now, we're about four weeks from the guest posing in Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. We came off of a really good year last year, but now is when the work really begun. And it really begins because he's leaving for uh, Germany tomorrow. He's got a lot of appearances, so again, Thank you guys all for following us, getting behind us. I mean, ever since it's been three and a half years I've been working with Derek. It's been awesome. It's been fast you know? too. Yes. It's crazy. It's very quick, very quick. And, uh, and now we're just very, very proud of seeing him be able to evolve here in his role of being the ambassador of the sport. So now we get to be able to have a little bit of fun. He's gonna go you know, shake some hands, kiss some babies. I'm gonna get back to Dallas, work on some of the new formulas and new products. You'll have them by tomorrow. So when you get back, Ooh, you'll perfect. have it all ready to go with some of the new flavors and new products that we've been working on. Tireless, tirelessly within the Evagen headquarters. And um, and he's wearing his mint money green tank. Yeah, I like this. That's this gonna be nice. coming out very, very soon. So we got a bunch of new drops 
that are coming in on the Evagen apparel side. And uh, again, man, it was great seeing you. Yeah, you too, man. Next time you're back in uh, back in town, I think you'll be at my gym. Yeah. Ho yeah. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. God willing. Shh. Secrets. Yeah. So. Secrets. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much. You Safe too. travels. Yes. It's good seeing you. Honey Rambod, Derek Lunsford. Peace. Siri, what's the weather look like? It looks like you're gonna need an umbrella. It's a little bit drippy.